Greetings humans, Spinning Mantis here with another video game review. We're talking about the best games of 2015 to 2017, and this one is called Firewatch. You can check it out on my channel, um, but this one I think is well worth your time if you're into story games. Not heavy on the gameplay, very heavy on the story. Um, this will give you a little slice of what it's like. You're basically exploring these cool environments, talking to uh, someone who you never meet on a walkie-talkie, um, and basically unraveling several mysteries and telling several stories at once. Um, you could probably get this for 5 or $10 at this point. It's a small indie game, um, but it is, I think, pretty fun and worth the... Uh, worth the purchase, but probably only if you're really into story games. Um, as I said, really not going to have any challenging gameplay in this at all. Um, but um, I give it a 7 out of 10 for graphics. As you can see here, it's kind of stylized realism. I felt like they could have maybe done a little bit more, uh, but uh, I give it a 7 out of 10 as far as graphics go. Maybe even an 8, a sneaky 8. Um, but uh, as far as gameplay goes, you know what, I'm going to change that. I'm going to give it 8 for graphics. And then as far as gameplay goes, I had given it a 7, I'm going to give it a 6. Um, so my final score will still be the same. Um, up the graphics, down with the gameplay. Um, basically, you don't really do a whole lot. There's no action sequences, there's no difficult maneuvering. It is basically you're walking through a story sort of like a first person telltale game um, so as I said uh, 8 for graphics and a 6 for gameplay but 10 for story so you're this main character he has this really intense backstory um, which you'll find out about um, then you have the person you're talking to on the radio you've got their story and sort of the mysteries about that and then as you explore the park there's several mysteries inside the park um, that unfold really slowly and I think maybe some people may have been a little disappointed with the ending of the game but I wasn't I thought um, the, the story that you wind up finding out is sort of worth the payoff people thought it should have been maybe a bigger more supernatural lost type of thing but uh, I was happy with how all the different stories turned out. I think it could have been longer. I think this is maybe only like a four hour game. Um, and so originally it was pretty high priced for only four hours, which wasn't great, but now you can pick it up for super cheap. So I would suggest doing it if you could pick it up for five to $10. Um, but it is very, very, very short, but I give the story a 10. It's the highest uh, store, uh, rating, you know, um, of any of these games that I'm going to be reviewing, it is um, definitely a story as good as a book, as good as a good TV series or something like that. You just wish that it was longer than four hours. You wish it could have been maybe eight hours and <clears throat> gotten into a bit more stuff. Um, and lastly, I'm giving it an eight out of ten for fun because it was a very enjoyable experience. I think you will enjoy it. Um, if story games are your type of thing, if nature is your type of thing, um, it's really cool to spend some time in this environment. This would be a great game for VR. I don't know if they're working on putting some back VR support in it, but this game would be so good in VR. Um, sort of like The Long Dark, I think, would be great in VR um, because it really gives you a great sense of being in this crazy, like, wild national park. Um, very cool, very cool. So um, I'm going to give it a final rating of 8 out of 10. That is 8 for graphics, 6 for gameplay, 10 for story, and 8 for fun. Um, it's a mysterious story-driven game about relationships. You have some cool relationship options in the game. Um, if that is your type of thing, I say go for it. It is worth your 5 to 10 bits. Um, anyway, uh, I'm hoping to make this regular series, so tune in next week, um, and hopefully I will have another review for you. Um, this has been the review of Firewatch, which I give 8 out of 10. Um, 
very good story game. Anyway, that's going to be all for now. Spitting Man's out. Namaste.